But man, I gotta do something out here because that wind kicks like Van Damme out here. Come on with the come on. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the homestead. Welcome back. Well, it's been about five or six days since I made a video, which is kind of rare for me, man, but it's been busy in 2021 already. It is crazy. I work for a college and the semester started and that typically tends to be the busiest time for us the first couple of weeks of the semester. So work's been pulling me away from the homestead quite a bit and I haven't been able to really get many videos out. I haven't really had time to do much editing or filming for that matter. But I just got back from Rural King getting some feed for the animals. I need to get that unloaded. I wanted to go ahead and make a video for you guys. It's been a while. I've had a lot of new subscribers uh, this week from that uh, shoot dang video that we did last week. I had a good time with that video. It sure was fun. Definitely thank the Crockers for putting on that contest. It allowed me and my son to actually kind of just take a step back for a minute and have a little fun with it so that was a good time my son said it's the his favorite video that we've done so far so that's pretty cool so for all the new subscribers that's joined the channel i sure do appreciate it and look forward to you guys following along and i also look forward to y'all commenting and giving me y'all's advice so i can learn from you as well well let's go ahead and get this uh feed unloaded and we'll talk about some things coming up here on the homestead had one thing happen this week it ain't good it ain't good we'll talk about that later on in the video and what we're gonna do about it but uh you know it's just one of those things living in here in florida that you got to deal with so let's go ahead and get this feed unloaded and get these animals situated and uh, i'll cut back in and we'll chat a little bit more come on It rained quite a bit last night. Got the chicken coop a little bit muddy. But we got them settled, got the feed in the barrel, got them fed, they're happy. The goats know they're next. They're back there talking to me right now. But when I got back from Rural King, I watched the uh, premiere video that uh, the Payne family put out, the 2020 review. I tell you what, man, that guy's editing his own point. I sure do enjoy it. Life goals, life goals. I've been doing this YouTube thing about three and a half months now. I do work technology for a living, so I got a little bit of background. But I still got a lot to learn, a lot to learn. I started out with a program called Shotcut to do my editing and a GIMP to do my thumbnails. 
is an open source free software. If you're just getting into YouTube and you want something free just to see if YouTube's gonna be your thing, those are two good ones to start with. Very user friendly and easy. Over the Christmas break here though, I went ahead and purchased the Adobe Suite to get Premiere Pro and Photoshop and all of those. So I'm in the process of learning that now and uh, look forward to seeing where these videos go with it. I try to improve on my videos with every one. Uh, that's one of the things I love about this YouTube thing is uh, being able to use my creativity and just uh, learning and expanding my skill sets and stuff and I really enjoy it. But if you haven't checked out the Payne family YouTube channel yet, do yourself a favor and go ahead and do that. His videos are on point, his editing is amazing. It's, it's a real good channel to watch. I really enjoy it. I'm probably, I'm probably about 25 videos in now. But I really enjoy it. He seems to be a good guy and I look forward to following along and learning as much as I can and uh, strive to make my video editing better every day and seeing channels like that just inspire me to keep on doing what I'm doing. And I enjoy it and I'm going to bring you guys along with me and I want y'all to make me accountable. If I'm slipping, come on, let me know I'm slipping. Come on with it. Well, let's get those goats taken care of so they'll stop hollering at me there in the background. And then we'll go and talk about what happened on the homestead here the other day and what we're going to have to do to fix it. So let's go on and get it done. Come on with the come on. Well, now that we got the goat settled, let's go ahead and go take a look at what happened to the homestead the other day and uh, what we're going to have to do to address that situation. Come on. The other day we had a windstorm come through here. Now that's something that I have to deal with on a regular basis here in Florida. I live next to three pretty big lakes and I'm only about a block away from one of the bigger ones. And when that wind that comes off those lakes, there's not a whole lot to stop it. Even though I got trees all the way around my property, it doesn't do much for it. There's always trees falling out here. And uh, as you can see in the background there, canopies getting torn up. I used to have five of these 40 foot by 18 foot canopies around here just as a temporary way to get my stuff out of the weather because I moved out here a little bit quicker than what I thought I was going to. I decided to go ahead and go for it and get this homestead and thing that I've always wanted to do going. I already had the property so I went ahead and moved out here and put these canopies up that I had. I actually had these canopies at my last house. And I decided to move them out here just as a temporary situation until I could get some structures built here on the property. Well, that was about a year ago. And out of five, I'm down to now one. Besides the one back here that's covering up my boats. Let me show you what the wind did and I'll tell you what we're going to do to fix this problem. Because I'm over dealing with uh, broken canopies, let me tell you. Well, as you can see, the wind just snapped and bent all of these posts. I actually have fence posts in the ground concreted and have it secured with that but all it did was just bend it right above that clip right there so and it did that all the way down it also bent the top parts up there but if it wasn't for my boat the whole side probably would have came on down boats looking pretty dirty from sitting here for a year I need to get out here and get that thing clean come on Little one's still doing good though. I use that little one quite a bit. But as you can see, it bent it up pretty good. Tarp's still in pretty decent shape. It's got a couple of rips in it right there. But we're definitely gonna have to address this issue and address it pretty soon. I don't want my boats just setting out in the weather and some of my other equipment. I've got one canopy left. I actually extended that one. That one's a 60 by 18. And uh, this became pretty much the store all for all of my stuff. And let me tell you, it is cluttered and it is a nightmare. It takes me longer to find my tools than what it actually takes to do most of the projects. And I'm about done with that situation. But we're going to be addressing that here real soon in an upcoming video. I've been talking about closing in those lean-tos off the shop. And we're going to go ahead and get that started. Mother Nature pretty much said that's the next project. So 
we're gonna go ahead and get that going this weekend there'll be a video coming out on that soon it'll probably be a couple part series there's a lot of work there closing those in and building all the shelves and getting everything organized but there ain't nothing to it but to do it so we're gonna go ahead and get started on it and get that project going I'm actually real excited about it I'm ready to I'm ready to know where everything is. I'm tired of buying everything five times when I already know that I have it, but I can't find it. And I have to buy it again just to keep the projects going. So we're gonna get that addressed. But man, I gotta do something out here because that wind kicks like Van Dam out here. Come on with the come on. Well, I appreciate y'all guys stopping by the homestead with me. And for all the new subscribers, I'm glad y'all are here. And I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel and look forward to y'all following along. So until we see each other again, come on, let's go homestead.